Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to watermark multiple images with your logo using Adobe Lightroom. Now this is done in the export process. So once you've edited all your photos in Lightroom, then go ahead and select all images. So they're all highlighted, then go to file export. And then from there, you're going to scroll down and you'll see a watermarking tab. Now, normally watermark is unchecked, but for here, in order to do it, we have to check that. And then there's a gray box next to watermark. Click on that. And then you go to edit watermarks. A watermark editor window will open. And here you can choose between text or graphic watermark. In order to use your logo, you have to go to graphic. And then from there, it's going to have you look for the image that you want to use. Make sure that you're using a PNG file. Here is mine for my company, Majestic Entertainment. Then you'll see here, now it's at the bottom left corner. Now we can make adjustments to where the logo is located by scrolling down. And now under watermark effects, you have different things that you can adjust. First and foremost, let's start off at the bottom. The anchor is exactly the position that you want it to be in. Bottom left corner, bottom right corner, center bottom, center, top right, etc. I like the bottom left corner generally. Then you can go to the insert section above that. And here you can make adjustments for the horizontal and vertical distance of the logo in correlation to the location that you've chosen in the anchor. So if we want it a little further away from the edge of the image, we can make those adjustments. Personally, I'm very happy with it being at zero. Whatever position you choose, there is a slight distance of the logo from the edge of the photo, and I'll show you that in a bit. So insert, I'm going to leave at zero. Then here on the size, you can change between proportional, fit, and fill. Personally, I like proportional. And I really like it being at six or five. It makes it pretty small, but I don't like my logo standing out too big in my images. Then above that, you can change the opacity from 100 to more see-through. I like it at 100, personally. One last thing I forgot that you can adjust is also the rotation down at the bottom section where it says anchor. You can rotate your logo if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and make a change and make this actually six on the proportion. And once you have everything set exactly how you want it, go ahead and click Save. And now you can save this as a preset. I'm going to call it ME Logo Bottom Left. Then click Create. And now anytime you want to use this watermarking preset for future edits, you can just click on the box right here next to Watermark. And then you'll have your preset set. So you can just select that. You don't have to edit anything. And then you can export. So now let's export the images. Now here, I only have seven photos. Export it pretty quick. Now I can show you what the final results are. So these are the new exports. Now you can see the logo at the bottom left corner with the proportional sizing of six on every photo. And if I zoom in very closely, you'll see that it's not right at the edge of the photo. There is a slight distance from that, which is something that I really like. And that's how you watermark multiple images with your logo in Adobe Lightroom. Please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.